Hi everybody, I'm Steve Avila, the Head of Customer Success here at Echo. And I'm Dr. Steve Pham, an emergency medicine doctor, a telehealth provider, as well as a clinical advisor here at Echo. Today, we're going to walk you through how to use our Echo telemedicine software. Let's dive in. Our Echo telemedicine platform all starts with the Echo Core digital stethoscope and the mobile app downloaded on tablet or phone. Pairing your Echo Core with your Echo digital app is super easy. Just download the app to either your smartphone or your preferred tablet, log in with your secure credentials, take your Echo Core, turn it on, the flashing blue light indicates that it's searching for the app to pair with, and you can connect to Core directly. It'll navigate to your Bluetooth settings menu. Hit select device. Now it's paired. From here, you can begin your auscultation, and all the sounds that are captured by your Echo stethoscope will be visualized on your app. Okay, now we're gonna simulate a telemedicine visit using Echo Telemedicine. Jason here is gonna be our mock patient, we're gonna stream his heart and lung sounds to Dr. Pham in a different location. As soon as your account has been upgraded to Echo Telemedicine, you will see the live stream feature available to you in your settings menu. To start a stream, simply enter the live stream menu and select start live stream. You can share your streaming link with the listener by entering in their email, sending a text message, or composing an email from the device. The streaming link is unique to each account and it won't be reset between visits unless the user selects the reset link option. For this demo, let's share our link to Dr. Pham via email. Now I'm going to auscultate on Jason. The feed is going to be set from the Echo Core to the mobile app to the link we've shared with Dr. Pham. One of the best features of Echo Telemedicine is the ability to use it alongside the HIPAA compliant video conferencing service of your choice. For this demo, we'll use it with Zoom on an iPad. You'll notice that the Echo live stream is kept active on the listener's end even when the Echo app is sent to the background on the streamer side. This allows the streamer to transfer back to a video conference, look up additional info, or send a message without interrupting your telemedicine session. Now, let me show you what Echo Telemedicine Livestream looks like from the point of view of a telehealth consultant. The streaming link came directly to my inbox and I can open it with a Chrome, Firefox, or Safari web browser. A listener or consulting clinician can open a Livestream link from a computer, tablet, or phone with internet access. Here's what it would look like if I opened it on my computer. When listening to a Livestream link, we always recommend having a high quality headphone. As you can see on my screen, the stream displays the sound waveform and plays the stethoscope audio, but does not display patient identifying information on the listener side. On my end, I can also keep the stream active while viewing the patient through the video conferencing and entering notes into the EHR. As a listening provider, I can save the live stream links of the clinicians I collaborate with most to avoid having to share the link before each visit. Once you decide to end your telemedicine session, simply tap End Live Stream in your mobile app. This ends the connection of the feed from your Echo Core. What we just demonstrated is one of the many ways you can integrate Echo Telemedicine into your telemedicine practice. Thanks so much for joining us today and please click on the link below to sign up for a live demo. Our team is standing by to answer any questions you may have and we can walk you through different use cases like using Echo Telemedicine for cart-based telemedicine or with Windows PCs. Thank you.